Okay, I don't know why you're not working. Yeah, don't worry about that. Tire exploded. That's 46%. It should work. But I guess it's too low. I actually don't have jumper cables. Um, I had them, but they were starting to get sketchy and falling apart. So I threw them away with plans on buying new ones and I never bought new ones. So I kind of screwed myself just now. Come on, let's get lucky. It's so close, it's so close. All right, regular dog. I've been dailying you for a while. Swap you out for the M3. Yeah, so if you don't know the story of this car, I call it regular dog because uh, we in Atlanta and everybody's like big dog in Atlanta. And um, so this was like the regular dog compared to the M3, which is big dog. So I always call this car regular dog. But this is the E90. Uh, it's got a check engine light on. It's got a brake light on. So take it to the shop. Uh, give you guys a shop update since it's been a while and uh, we'll go from there but i'm definitely gonna pick up the m3 i'm gonna bring it home because i have to do something on the m3 also we'll talk about it later all right so there's the shop you can see the shop look how packed it is and you see that yellow thing just rolling advertisement <laughs> also i bought a new camera and it's uh really cool this is the insta go 3 one of this camera ever since i saw it and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna get it, and it's awesome. It's gonna come in handy for a lot of things. It's really cool, and it actually disconnects from the base, and I can put this in here, and now I got POE footage, just that easy, and I can actually see what's going on on the base. So it's, it's really dope. It's really dope. So here we are. these cars all these cars and park regular dog right here I guess and then I'll give you guys a shop update so it's been a couple months um, well a month and a half really and um, she's been doing a lot of work Ding dong. What's up? Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> that was like up close. I know. Super close. <laughs> so, I know. I, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> What's going on? Dang, bro, you got the hat thing on and everything? Yeah. I'm vlogging today. It's been a while. What uh, would you drive in? Um, I brought the United. I'm gonna swap that out. Take the M3 home. Like so well, a you chance. Gotta get it started. Yeah. It doesn't start. But yeah. It also doesn't run. I think the cables are in the back. Oh no no no. Throttle bodies. Yes. Throttle actuators. They are throttle actuators. They are um, not doing too hot. Yeah. But well, I think I can reset the codes. Okay. All right. So remember, we started with two lifts. Now we have four already, and they're all being used. What's going on? What else happened? We also have another tech and another. You saw him already. Another service advisor. So already growing employees, and we still haven't really used this side. Of the shop yet we'll get there but yeah things are going great so yes the m3 throttle actuators have finally shit the bed after i think this thing has 168,000 miles and i never changed them i had the car since 60,000 miles so i put over a hundred thousand miles on this thing with these um actuators and yes, my jumper cables that I was looking for are in the car. 
I did buy new ones. I just put them in here because I had to jump this car too. I need keys because it's not open. Tell me it doesn't work. What are these keys? Oh, wrong key. E36 key. Sorry, I'm slow. So I see it's in limp mode now. Um, I'm going to plug up. I'm going to reset the codes and see if it works. Try it again. And we're smooth again. So, again, 169,000 miles in this car. This has happened a couple times before. And I cleared the codes and it went away for a while. So um, I've always had throttle actuators at home dreading the day that it's like, will never work again. But so I think I'm gonna go ahead and change them now. So anyways, let's take this car home because all my tools are at home. Selling some tires too. So another reason I bought this other camera is because sometimes trying to use this camera all the time is annoying. And this thing just literally just clips in. Turn it on. And now we're first person. Are you ready? Sure. Yeah, I'm buying a camera. Fancy ass camera. You I see this? Man, look at this. He's got the little holder for it. Huh? Is that the one I got? Uh uh. I got another so, one. Like, this is my return to. This is a stick anywhere thing. So you can watch it like while you're doing it? Yeah. And make sure that it looks what good. Is it called? Damn. That's fucking sick as fuck. Yeah. Show off. It's the on, <laughs> the on Go 3. It's shits on GoPros, obviously. And this comes off. Yeah, this comes off. And it goes back in the holder. See how much life does that have? You need to tell Cody about. It. Cody needs to know about. It this has. Thing. It has. It has more life than a GoPro. Well, I'm and saying that. And this comes. It's, this is separate, so you can use that and then plug it into here, and then now it's actually charging. Well, I'm like, can so it it's record like a, just to the just to the little one, or does it have to be within? The, the little, the little one is the camera. Okay. Yeah. So the whole thing is the little camera, yeah, and that's just crazy. basically the base of it. And you just yeah, like I said. Oh, it's the 360. Well, it's the same brand, yeah. yeah. And then you just take that off, and then whatever you put like this in. And this is also is. magnetic. How much does shit cost? Four hundred. That's okay. You know the what? price all of a GoPro. All of a sudden, I don't want one anymore. <laughs> what is it called? Four hundred dollars. That's how much a GoPro is. Bro, I think I buy a new GoPro. <laughs> no, I buy like an eight or some shit like that, or a fucking hero. Oh, this thing is amazing, and it's gonna make videos really fun. Our Trevor signed a. Call yourself in. Welcome to the team. Let's see here. We already got a, a black, got strong, a strong black color. man right here. I just hand the color pencils, so you guys do what you want to do. 
I mean, <laughs> you're pretty close. <laughs> it's, 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 okay, look, Shane grab that in the yellow, and we'll just roll it <laughs> <just> <laughs> <all> together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's actually my skin color. There we go. Look at there, Trevor. This thing kind of sucks. Should we, yeah. should we put, like, little hair on it? No, I'll be bald. I need a haircut anyway. <laughs> Let's just shave it. There you if you want to do it. Don't you need to color in your mechanic? He has to decide what color pencil he wants me to get. No, he wants me to get the different shades of skin oh, color. Oh, no, no, no. I, got I didn't him. say that at all. I got him. <laughs> I said that I'm, I don't count. Just like how Sam is the color judge is the manager. There you go, Adam. That's you. That's true. Makes sense. Does that all count now? That's, that's about as close as it's going to get. Oh, Maybe he said that he's about to take it. All right, it's time to leave. Hung out for a little bit. It was their lunch time, so I just hung out for lunch. See if I can start it up again. And we're good. So I'll just drive it home and fix it tomorrow or the day after or something. And I was explaining this thing at the shop, talking about the new camera. And this has a sticky pad that sticks to literally anything. And if it does get too dirty, you just put water on it and then you can clean it up. And then the screen flips out. So I can actually, oh, I put it to here. I put that, I put it under the mirror so it's not fully in my way. And then turn it on and it's automatically synced together and it's gonna show me exactly what I'm looking at. Connecting and there you go. So I can see exactly what I'm doing. It's a little delayed on here but it's not delayed on uh, actual camera. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, I gotta move my seat. They've been driving it. All right, there we go. Oh, I missed this car. We're going to get you right. All right, we're going to get you right. Probably going to pull this. Oh, I forgot I had a big ass lip. <laughs> I forgot. Got the jumper cables now. So let's get this thing uh started. Also, I got packages for merch. And no, it's not gilded. I already told you guys I will never sell you guys a gilded. Alright, 
So this car needs some work. Obviously it needs throttle actuators. We already talked about that. The wrap is fucking terrible. It's been wrapped this color for, I want to say five, maybe six years. And you guys, if you've been watching this channel, you've seen me restore the wrap a couple times because you can polish it and basically make it new again. Where's the spoiler? It's somewhere over there. I took it off and refinished it and never put it back on. Um, but yeah, it's um, very faded and I just don't know if I want to polish it again. I'm, again, I'm thinking about, honestly thinking about getting rid of the car. Like I don't, I don't use it. In order to get rid of it though, I don't want to release it in this, um, you know, condition. Unless someone just wants to throw me a cash offer that's like, fuck it, I'll take it. But uh, for the most part, I'd like to actually, you know, clean it up. Um, so the wrap will most likely come off. It's Drez black under, which I don't really like personally. Um, if it was just jet black, I'd like it, but Drez black is kind of like a blue black. I don't really care for it. It's like E46 Cosmos black kind of, if you ever seen that. And I, I didn't really like it when I first got it. So, but I knew I'd probably change it hard. I was hoping I'd get used to it, but yeah, I didn't like it. But anyways, I need to remove the wrap. The top still doesn't work. We got it up manually, but I still haven't looked in to see what it is. It could just be a module. It could be the pump. Like it is a hundred things on why the pump thing doesn't work. I haven't tried to put it back yet. I'm curious now. Now, now I'm scared to do it because if I try to put it back and it stays, then I'm stuck again. But um, yeah, other than that, then I have these keys right here. Let's just see. I'm curious. Let's see if it does go back. No, it didn't go back at all. So there's definitely something going on. Jesus. It was like stuck closed. Well the battery's probably just dead. I just you know, but anyways, I'm not I'm not worried with worried about the top right now, but I need to fix the top. The headliner sags. Um, these little things, this glue just got, you know, just hot Atlanta heat and shut, just fell off. So, need to glue that back up somehow. And, um, yeah, other than that, the car's good. So, it just needs throttle actuators. Need to remove the wrap. Need to fix the top and fix the headliner. Other than that, it's a great car. Drives great, 169,000 miles. It's only left you stranded one time when the alternator went out. But other than that, you know, this car's been great. And you guys don't really see it on the channel because I don't drive it and it doesn't normally need a lot of work. So that's kind of why it just kind of just been sitting. This is a big ass car. Look at this shit. Shit's in the way already. It's so annoying walking through the garage with this big thing. I can move it back though, but still, this thing is in comparison and definitely in weight. This thing is a thousand pounds heavier than this car. A thousand, because it's convertible. So this thing is, feels way different to drive. And Ebony would gap the shit out of this car. Anyways, let's do what I wanted to do this morning. Should be good. Aww. I'm getting emotional. I haven't seen these cars together in so long. This is the original dynamic duo over right here. Oh, the original sisters. They're back together. <laughs> that's cool. That's really cool. All right, so as far as this car, uh, remember we swapped the head on it because uh, it was bad. And it was good. It drives fine. A check engine light does come on again. I don't know why. It needs power steering fluid too. I can feel it. Um, but yeah, I haven't, haven't really looked into it yet. I'm gonna put this one this way. Neighbor's probably like, what the hell is he doing? It'll make sense when I get there. I'll just leave it on because I don't want to have to jump it to put it back in the driveway. 
And now I need Ebony. Hey, Ebony. How you doing? Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. How is this battery dead? I drive this car all the time. I left the trunk open. Oh, the trunk was open. I do, I did have the trunk open. Oh my God. Yeah, I drive this car all the time. Like I drove it to work like two weeks ago. There's no way this thing is, <laughs> again, I left the trunk open. So obviously that did something. It's because we're on camera. That's why I was acting up. Oh no. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Stop. Where's my key? Where's the key? I lost the key. I think it's in there. Ebony does this thing. I have an alarm system on it. Um, what do I do with the key? I just want to make sure the key's out here first. Okay, there it is. Yeah, Ebony has an alarm system on it. And every time the battery gets reconnected, it turns the alarm on and the windows go up. So, and I think this only works on the passenger side. Stupid. Because remember, when I was getting the exhaust done, we had that same issue. Okay, so we're unlocked now? Yes. Remember we had the exhaust done and I had that same issue where, ooh, we in there, driving fast, all right. We had that same issue where uh, once we plugged the battery back up, all the windows went up, but the keys were in the ignition and we had to fish it out. We got it, but yeah. Yep, of course this thing is not strong enough. All right, I had to start the M3 again. This is making things so difficult. Like this should not be this. I just want to start all three 36s. I should probably put the window down. I just want to start all three 36s and put them in the cul-de-sac. So I can take a cool picture and you guys will see what the picture's for in the future. trash people are coming damn it damn it I thought they'd be here by now oh this picture this picture okay Ooh. That's it, that's all I needed. This picture will make sense later. I'm gonna take a picture of my phone. I don't think I've ever had them together like this. This is dope. Come coming, dog. Are you waiting on me? My bad. I need this. are shirts and I don't remember some type of transfers or something um so yeah this is my 
if you guys haven't seen this, I'm sure you have, is my office. It's my work computer, which uh, right now I'm playing video games on it. Um, I got, uh, what's it called? Armored Core 6. If you ever played Armored Core, any of the old Armored Core games, I guess there's a new one out. I don't know where all the hype came from. Um, I think it happened because people were saying it's too hard, and I think that just like started spread like through all like the news and Facebook and stuff. And um, yeah, it was hard. When you started it, it was hard. Like the first level is hard. <laughs> like you get to the end, there's a boss, and everybody quits on that boss. It took me like maybe six tries. It wasn't as hard as everybody was saying it was, but I kind of figured it out pretty quick. But it's fun. I've been playing that game for like two weeks now, maybe. Well, I had it for two weeks, and yeah, I'm on my third playthrough. So Armored Core 6, it's super fun. It's a robot game, kind of like Gundam. You, you, everybody calls them Gundams because they act like Gundams. And uh, yeah, it's, there's three endings. All right, guys. Hey, so I have not been using YouTube for a long time. Um, it's been 46 days on this channel. I have my Sim channel also. It's been 86 days over there. I just checked. So... It's been almost three months over there so basically i've been stretching myself way too thin you guys know i'm pretty much like a one-man army i do everything myself i film i edit i design i make i do everything myself and i've just been way too much and and you know i still have a full-time job i still got full-time family one's a toddler so she needs a lot of attention the shop is going crazy right now so it's just it's way too much going on and I'm just like I was losing my mind basically and I, was, I, I wasn't having fun and straight up I wasn't having fun my friends wanted to um, hang out and stuff I couldn't do anything because I'm telling sorry I'm over here doing this sorry I'm over here doing this sorry I'm gonna be doing this and it just wasn't fun anymore so it just got to the point where I know it's work and I know I have to work towards a goal that I have but um, eventually it got to the point where it's just, it just, it was just all stress and it just, uh, I just, it was like, all right, I don't want to do this no more. And that's kind of what went over my head. Like it felt like I just didn't want to do it anymore. And that's not the truth. I do want to do it. I'm, I'm not going to give up. I love it. But it's just, it was just way too much and I, I couldn't handle it for the moment. So I decided to step back and I said, let me figure out what I want to focus more and that was actually the brand. So I actually decided to focus on the brand. So I turned my shoulder on YouTube and I said, I'm just gonna focus and do the brand. So um, I've been doing a whole bunch of research. I've been doing SEO research. I changed my website a little bit. Now with my pictures, um, it's not just a mock-up of a shirt. It's actually me modeling the shirt so you can see what the shirt looks like on a person. Speaking of the shirts, I'm actually changing the shirts. I've been using Next Level since the beginning. And they were cool at first, but it seems like over time, next levels have been getting smaller and smaller. I don't know what's going on, but I don't care anymore because I moved on. So um, these are now shock awares. It's not the, um, if you do, guys do know shock awares, these aren't the oversized shock awares. These are like the regular fit shock awares. These are six ounces and um, they're, they're, they're good. I like them. They have a really good fit. They're true to size. This is an extra large. So I don't know if you guys can see me from there, but I mean, it's a nice comfortable fit uh, they're long and they're long and they don't really shrink and that's like amazing part about it so I bought a blank and um, I washed it in hot water and dried it three times in a row just to see how much it would shrink and it shrunk like in length like from the bottom and like maybe an inch but the width and the sleeve stayed exactly the same so the fit was still exactly the same so the next levels they seem to strip they seem to shrink like real bad I know for some of the shirts I wear, I wear extra large normally. I know I've been sizing up. I've been wearing 2X lately. And I know I've gained a little bit of weight, but it wasn't enough to like size up. And now when I started wearing these shirts, and I'm like, okay, well, every other shirt I wear is extra large, except for one next level, I gotta wear 2X. And I thought that was weird. So so I decided to change my shirt. So from now on, these shirts and another design, these are on the website right now. These are actually sold out in a few sizes already because I actually just put them on Instagram and they sold off my story. So people really liked them. They thought they were cool. So, but yeah, that was one. And I thought it was really dope. So um, you can go see that on the website. It says uh, engine rev, straight pipes, and clutch 
clutch dumps and it has the work wheels on there, pistons and stuff. And those were on the new shirts and these are on the new shirts. I'm calling these the team logo. It says IB Garage, uh, style means everything. Just real simple, real cool. And um, these are gonna be on shirts and I'm gonna make them on hoodies right now. Um, sold out in some of the larger sizes and that's what that box was for because I'm actually about to replace those. So by the time you guys see this, um, it should be fully stocked again and actually have hoodies also. So we'll have those uh, by the end of the day or maybe by the end of this weekend, I'll, I'll get them done. And then, but for the most part, as far as the merch, um, I have have some other samples. Uh, there's another sample in there I can show you guys in a little bit. And um, But for the most part, I've been focusing everything on the merch and now I'm like, I'm good. You know what I mean? So again, like I'll start releasing more stuff later in the future. I'm not done growing the business, but I could take a break from it now. So like, just like I took a break from you guys, I could take a break from the merch. So I got a bunch of samples coming in. I know one of the samples coming in is a hat. Um, if it's exactly how I want it, then I'll probably release it on, I'll probably, um, probably do a giveaway. I think I'm gonna do a giveaway in the first hat. And because um, I want to try to grow this uh, Instagram anyway, so it's ibgarage.com if you want to follow that. Um, but yeah, and I have my main Instagram is it's black, but I'm more focused on, like I said, I'm more focused on this brand. So, um, but I probably do like a tag two people or something on there and just pick the winner in 48 hours or like random or something. I haven't figured it out yet, but yeah, once I get that hat in, I could do that. And if the hat's perfect, all I can do is tell them, okay, cool, make the rest. And then, you know, that's that's kind of how all this stuff is. Like, I've, I'm done designing, except for the picture I took, because, again, that'll be for something later. But that won't take too, too much of my time. Or well, it shouldn't. So, um, but yeah, so now that I'm, like, done with the merch, merch is going to start rolling in now. And uh, when it does, then I'll be releasing it. So, it's going to be releases, some, some, cool, some really cool releases next month or this month. It's October now. Yeah. By the end of the month, it should be should be some cool stuff. This stuff will be out already. And then I should have a real big drop. So uh, yeah, I don't want to spoil too much. But yeah, just be st stay tuned for that. So that's what's been going on. So I've been focusing on the brand. I even made uh, some new cool poly bags. So usually when you order something, you just get a blank black bag. But no, now you get something with the E36 on it. You got an ebony. You got my branding on there and everything, my website. And that way, if somebody's working at the post office and they're you know, delivering a package and they see Turbo E36 and they're like, oh, who's that? Oh, there you go. All the information is right there. So that's pretty dope. So I think it's cool. And um, yeah, it's just I've been just working on stuff like that. So that is what I've been doing. So I'm good now. So now that I'm good over there, I could take my attention away. And I'm focusing back on you guys. Hi, how you doing? You doing good? Doing all right? Cool, cool, cool. So that's where I'm at now. So now I'm going to go back to actually filming and editing uh, more regularly. And um, yeah, so I'm actually super excited. And um, yeah, so missed you guys, but I'm back. Um, hopefully, I know algorithms are crazy. Hopefully, algorithms don't destroy my channels because, again, I haven't posted on that in three months. And some people have actually posted comments like, yo, where are you at? And I just said, be back in a little bit, be back in a little bit, be back in a little bit. And <laughs> that's all I could really say. So, cause I didn't know when this day would come and now it's today. So anyways, I'm gonna turn these lights back on and uh, show you guys what's going on. So yeah. All right, camera's back on. This thing is so fucking cool. That's another thing I forgot to mention that I bought a new camera because I figured it would motivate me to want to do YouTube again. So, and so far it is because it's going to make my YouTube so much more fun. Uh, anyways, let's turn these lights on. And yeah, this is, um, again, this is my new driving setup. Uh, the changes I made were I actually got um, the thing mounted to the actual stand now. So it's a little bit closer and it's really cool. So I just tucked it a little bit more. And then I had some cheap LED lights behind the TV, but they fell because they're cheap. So. <laughs> That was kind of pointless, but, and then I got a table and then I bought wireless mouse and keyboard. I don't care about the flashy RBG anymore. And, um, yeah, so it made it super clean. I have keyboard over here, mouse over here. I can do whatever. And also bought the same one over here. And they're actually from Amazon, believe it or not. I think they were only like $20, maybe 40. Is it either $20 or $40? I don't remember, but they are from Amazon. I'll try to find a link and put it in the description, but they work great. 
they actually work really great and this is my you know my little xbox setup right now but yeah they're cl super clean and yeah and they don't interfere with each other they're the same exact ones i thought they'd interfere but they don't so that's really cool so i bought the same thing over there and then this is vr it's a meta quest 2 bar this from jacob I haven't fully set it up yet and i'm trying to figure it out um i had it running for a little bit then i started lagging it made me real dizzy so i turned it off and I haven't used it since so um yeah and here's the hoodies like i said i'm about to start pressing those up so i'm gonna press this same thing on the hoodie so you can get a shirt and a hoodie so um yeah so anyways let me see if i can show you guys i don't really have new extra larges um oh yeah i do I have, yeah, let me get this. This was an extra large, so it's my sample rack in there. Stuff I mess with, and I'll show you what one of those are too. Um, but anyways, this is an extra large, and I'm gonna lay this extra large down and lay a extra large um, next level on top of it so you can actually see the difference. Because when I tell you the difference, I mean it and that's extra large and we're gonna lay this over top of it i already pulled the tag out so you can't see it's extra large just trust me when i say it's extra large i wouldn't lie to you guys so we're gonna lay this right over it and try to measure it up put it right at the neck line the sleeves up and already you can see the difference in sleeves and you can see the difference in width and length so as you can see this is a completely different size this is like a large versus an extra large but they're both extra large and this hasn't even been washed yet like i said when you wash and dry these again i washed them in hot water if you don't wash in hot water it probably won't shrink at all i washed them in hot water and they shrunk to like maybe here and this is again unwashed unwashed and i know these will shrink a lot so this is um yeah it's a huge difference so the newer shirts are bigger and they won't really shrink and that's gonna be a overall full upgrade. So anyways, let me show you guys my sample. Let me see, let me see. I think y'all gonna love this one. I don't have anything on the front yet, so I'm not gonna show you the front, but I have an idea what I'm gonna do for the front. But they are already in production and on the way. This is a sample. So the colors are a little faded, but you know, they'll be brighter. But anyways, what do I do when I drive Roxanne? I drift it and I'm banging limiter. So that's what this shirt is. It's banging limiter. It's Roxanne drifting some initial D style mountains and I'm banging limiter. So this is gonna be a really dope shirt. Again, the colors, I don't know how they show on camera, but in person they're kind of faded. But again, this is a sample and they're really, but the, the, the real ones will be much brighter and the yellow will be brighter too. But this is gonna be a really dope shirt. It's a big design. Uh, it's 14 by 20. 14 by 20 so it's an oversized design and again this is an extra large shirt so if you rock that like on a large it's gonna be like the whole shirt it's gonna be dope it's gonna be like the whole back of your shirt it's gonna be super dope so i'm super excited for this this is coming soon and another shirt is coming soon that i can't show you yet but yeah but b and some stuff will be released with it also so it won't just just be the shirt there's gonna be some other stuff with the shirt and yeah, it's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff. Like I said, I focused a lot on this type of stuff over the past month and a half, two months, and it's gonna be it's gonna be worth it. So now, since everything is ordered, I don't have to do anything else. Now I can go back to you guys. And all right, guys, and I think with that, that's gonna do it for this video. So I appreciate you guys sticking around this long. I know I probably talked for a long time, but I had to, you know, I had to talk to you guys. I had to let you guys know what was going on and was going through my mind and why I've been gone and all that stuff. And, you know, I just want to say that I'm back now. So obviously I have some work I need to do on some of these cars. I need to fix the throttle actuators, obviously. Um, I have the suspension on the drift cars, the suspension that's on there is kind of falling apart again, I think. And um, I do have the fortunes that's been in the garage for, I don't know, six months. I'm finally going to put those on. And then um, blue car, we're going to try to get blue car on the road registered and stuff so I can actually drive it and just some other stuff. So I'm definitely back. I'm going to go back to doing, giving them keys. I haven't done those in a long time and talking to some people, got some cars lined up. So we're going to go back to that. So I just want to let you guys know that I'm done spending my time focusing on one thing and I'm back to you guys, which is one thing. So I'm back to you guys as one thing. So if I do disappear again, 
you know what I'm doing. So anyways, eventually I'll get to the point where I can develop a team that can actually, you know, do stuff for me. And I'd love to have an e editor one day or a filmer or somebody that does my marketing, somebody that does my designing. Of course, all that stuff costs money. I ain't there yet. So <laughs> that's all it is. So eventually I'll get there. But, you know, just for now, still one man army. I just have to, you know, take my battles one at a time instead of trying to fight the whole war. So um, and then not to mention there's a whole ass shop. But Sam has been running the shop. She's been absolutely killing it. As you can see, the shop has been growing drastically fast. And um, yeah, for, from two lifts to six lifts and a month and a half is insane. So and they're being used. It's not just collecting dust. No, they're being used. You guys saw the parking lot. That's not a car meet. You know, it was big when it was a car meet. That's not a car meet. Those are all customers. So, yeah. So she, it's it's being it's 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 a lot of work coming through there. So, um, yeah, that on top of everything else has just been way, way too much. So um, anyways, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Deuces. And I will see you soon. Bye.